Hi, my name is Calvin. I'm the owner of High Torque Rollers and I just wanted to do a, a series of videos over time to show you guys a few things of what we've learned over the years when we've been uh, working with these pins and rollers. So today I'd just like to show you, we talk about the pin fit a lot on our rollers and the precision fit and uh, that's a good thing about 99.9% .9 of the times. So occasionally there'll be a pin that has too thick of a coating on it and uh, I'm just going to show you what to do if you run into that. I've had different guys tell me that they, uh, they've they fixed the problem. I don't know if that meant running a 3 8 inch bit through our rollers. I sure hope not, but uh, this is the way we, we fix the problem if we run into a pin that's a little bit too large for the bore. I'm going to use one of our Can-Am product rollers here. If my wife comes in and focuses in on the, uh, on the roller, I'll move over to her. There we go. It's one of our new Can-Am product rollers, high temp. And uh, I've just got a new pin there with the coating on it. You see that coating will vary from uh, a half a thou thick to two and a half thou thick. So that's in order to keep a good fit on the, the bore, I've got to build them so that the occasional one will be too tight. So you can put it on there and you're just going to feel it, see if it spins freely. If it's free, you're good to go. Put it on. If it's not free, just take a, a drill, hook it onto the threads. Go easy on it so you don't damage them. And you're going to take a piece of 600 grit wet and dry. I'm just using water on it. You can use WD-40 or whatever you like. That's what I normally use, but everybody's got water. So put a piece of 600 grit paper there and just spin it up. Follow it. And you're going to check and see if it fits again. Don't take the coating off if you don't have to, and I don't think you're ever going to have to do that. The pin. We used to have it taken right down to shiny steel, um, but I think that coating is probably a good idea. It's got uh, anti-corrosive uh, properties. So leave it on there if you can. Um, just keep wearing away at it until it fits onto your roller. Um, worst case scenario, if you end up with a really thick coating, you're gonna have still a thou and a half coating left when you go to fit that on the roller. Protects it from rust, spins freely. Go ahead and assemble a product as we have it in the instructions. Um, so we we'll look forward to doing a lot of these kind of videos, working on clutches, uh, installing uh, rollers for both the E-clip and the spring pin styles. Uh, in the meantime, if you've got comments, questions, please let us know. Thanks for your time. I'll talk to you again.